meet permanent friends? He's going, no, oh, the best man. The no mucking around. Edward! <laughs> Big round of applause for Edward! Well, thank you everyone for coming. Um, I want to say that I've been given a lot of advice as to the sort of things the best man should do with his speech. I've been told that they should be funny. I've been told that they should be short. Um, I've been told to make sure that I definitely mention Lara and not spend the entire time talking about Damien. So, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best, but, uh, you know, if I, if I fail, then please forgive me. Uh, uh, first of all, because I think before I say anything else, you know, weddings are uh, more than just about entertainment. They're, they're, they're fundamentally a, a a serious business. It's the it's the beginning of a life together. It's it's not it's not it's not it's it's it's, it's not an end point. It's not a highlight. It's the start of everything that will will come afterwards. It's it's uh, you know a meeting of two families. It's future generations. It's kids. It's grandchildren. Uh, it's, it's, it's forever, um, and uh, things like that aren't always sort of funny or short. Um, so, how did I meet Damien? I, I met Damien, believe it or not, through politics. Uh, <laughs> Damien, I, 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 I knew this chap sort of vaguely through law and, and debating, but, but we weren't really friends. Um, and uh, uh, one day he walked up to me and told me that uh, I should take over the Liberal Club and I should be president, president of Jesus. Uh, <laughs> and um, uh, that was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Um, so, uh, yeah, we started doing legal campaigns together. And, uh, there were many um, late nights staying over at his uh, place in the village, and I'd, I'd end up sleeping on his couch as we do brochures and phone calls and run around and sign up 200 people for signatures and all the rest of it, um, which is great fun. Enormous amounts of fun and, and, and quite a bonding sort of experience. Um, and, and through this, I learned a lot about Dan. I learned about the character of this man, the man who ultimately ended up becoming my best friend. Uh, and, and what can I say about it? I'd say that Damien is loyal to a fault. Um, he is incredibly hardworking on things that he's passionate about. He has a sense of life and energy and determination, sort of like, like, like a heart and a body. Pumping uh, blood uh, through everything that he, that, that, that he touches, and uh, uh, it, it, it's an amazing in terms of the. the it, 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 you sort of say utility, but it's more than that. It's it's common purpose. It's it's uh, supporting other people, and it's it's not just each other. It's it's about nurturing others. It's about providing for a community. It's about self-sacrifice. It's. It's, it's giving for a cause and service for its own sake. Um, and I think that those are, are beautiful and wonderful qualities. Um, and, and this is how Damien ended up becoming my friend. Um, so how does Lyra come into the picture? Well, um, uh, it was a few years ago that uh, my uh, amazing uh, ex-girlfriend, uh, Lauren, was thrown at the fabulous parties uh, <laughs> over, at, uh, uh, over at her house. Christmas parties with 20 people in vibe and the full, full sort of dresses and um, uh, Damien was uh, sitting down next to this building, chatted to all evening. Um, and, and it was strange, because uh, Damien had all of these girls who were constantly falling in love with him. I mean, I, I, I didn't understand why, but literally, you know, five or six of these, these sort of women who were utterly dissolved with him and wanted them to marry them, and he then did at the time of day, um, which, which was all rather tragic. But uh, uh, Lara was different. Very different, you know. There was there was something I think right from the beginning that that uh, uh, I could tell that he was really sort of quite taken with. Um, and, and I mean, you can tell why, you know, that Lara Lara is an incredibly gracious host. Uh, you know, she's particularly really tolerant of, of Damien's and my sort of calling qualities when we come over and take over the house of Fuji and you know spend the whole weekend calling up people and yelling at people. But um, <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, in terms of food and style and generosity and caring and support, um, there's really uh, uh, very little that you could ask for in terms of someone who makes a better companion. And I think Damien saw all of these things too, and, and ultimately that's probably the reason why they ended up uh, falling in love with each other. Um, in terms of uh, other things that I wanted to touch on, 
Uh, uh, I want to very quickly sort of talk about uh, the purpose of marriage. Um, uh, when I was growing up, my parents fought every day. Um, and, and people would say, oh, you know, you can't do that. The couples aren't meant to, to, to sort of go through those periods of, of difficulty and conflict. But, but it's, not, it's not the good times that make marriage. It's, it's how you behave in the bad times. Um, and it's your ability to forgive each other for your weaknesses and be there and support when, when someone else is down and sort of pick each other up. Um, and I think uh, despite all of the, the, the ups and downs, and, and there certainly have been downs between Damien and Laurie, I've had, had Damien on the phone and ranting to me for, for an hour or two about this or that, or whatever you call it, um, uh, it's ultimately uh, how you treat each other in those moments that, that are the key to a happy marriage and the key to a success for life together. And uh, from what I've seen, I think that it's, it's that, really, that really makes Damien's and Lara's relationship work, their ability to sort of move through and support each other in times of, 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 of trouble and ultimately to forgive. Um, and I think that that's uh, incredibly important. Uh, one last thing. Uh, I know my speech isn't terribly funny. You know, I could have mentioned Damien's Bucks Night, which wasn't really Bucks Night, we just went up and got drunk for four days. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, I could, I could make jo jokes about uh, uh, you know, Danny not liking like to do his law degree, or, or, how, <laughs> or, 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 or how dangerous he is when he's drunk. I, 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 I certainly remember one incident in Tasmania where we were in a moving cab and, and, and he jumped out of the moving cab. <laughs> anyway, um, but, uh, uh, but yeah, um, uh, ultimately I think uh, uh, the point that I want to sort of leave you with is that um, uh, I think your father would be incredibly proud of the man that he's become. I think that you are. Uh, uh, you, your, your, your best qualities are, are better than anyone else I know, and um, that's ultimately the reason why I'm very proud to call you my best friend, and why I'm so happy to see you uh, married to someone as beautiful as mine. Thank you. Thank you.